So we're up to Q in this strain alphabet thing. Um, had a bit of a problem trying to find a Q prop and then I realised I still have coins of the late Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Yes, as you know, she yeah, is still, she's yeah. still, she was the Queen of Australia. Her son Chucky is our king now, but I haven't seen any new coins with his head in. So hopefully we'll get a republic before, before they give us his um, head. Yeah, before they give us his head. Anyway, so I was a bit disappointed with the website. They didn't really have any cues. And I thought, well, you know, it's it's rather important to um, to inform and raise awareness amongst you all um, about common keywords here. So we'll start with Queensland and Queenslanders. Also known as banana benders or during the state of origin, Cane toads. What is the state of origin? It's a football game between uh, New South Wales and Queensland, which New South Wales usually gets ass kicked. So it's like your navy versus army type of thing up yeah, there. Yeah, I guess. I don't yeah. think they've got states of origin really. They've got yeah. their football, but it's all very franchisey. Whereas this is state based. It's theoretically it's meant to be where you were born. Mm. Is what kind of what state you played for but anyway um, we'll move on from there so mm. um queensland is north of new south wales so we live in new south wales mm -hmm. i've explained that victoria is mexico full of mexicans to us but queenslanders we just call them banana benders cane toads yeah, yeah. and um yeah I mean, they, they've got big chips on their shoulders because they're not as good as us. Basically. Yeah. So just don't say it around State of Origin point. Yeah, it's just, you mm. know, it is what it is with Queenslanders, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I remember during the floods, the former Queensland Premier, who has now become a lobbyist for the banking lobby, said, oh, we are Queenslanders, we build them tough. And I, I laughed at that a bit. Mm. And there's also the far north Queenslanders, FNQ. So if you say that enough, it becomes a bit rude. But um, yeah, they're, they're a total, totally different breed, those Queenslanders, because they want to uh, separate mm. from the rest of Queensland. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, and the capital of Queensland is Brisbane. Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. They're not as good as us, just a reminder. Brisbane is, you know, along the river. We've got the harbour. Mm. Oh, but they've got the Great Barrier Reef, which is nice. Don't you think? Yep. Yep. And the side of Expo 88. Yeah, and tropical fruits and stuff. All and right, that, let's move on. A hippie van in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. okay. that, I think that's named and that's still in New South Wales. Maybe Malane. Malane is a bit hippie. Mm. Okay. All right, Queen Vic. Queen Vic? Mm -hmm. It's a building. Yep. The Queen Victoria building in the middle of Sydney. Well, there's actually kind of two Queen Vics. So Queen Vic in this case is the Melbourne Markets. Okay. And QVB is Queen Victoria Building, and that's in Central Sydney. Mm -hmm. And they were about to demolish it until uh, I think a Singaporean Malaysian conglomerate decided to save it from being turned into another car park. So good, they mm. kept that. And there's a big, massive statue of Queen Victoria, who is the ancestor to the late Queen Elizabeth. And it's obviously not life size because Queen Victoria was a bit small, and this is. It's massive, a massive statue, mm. really. Mm. Oh, apparently, it was supposed to be sent to Dublin or something, and then. Well, you know, how, how the hell did we get it? Dublin's a little bit a long way from Sydney. Yeah, but I think this was before the Easter Rising, Easter Uprising. So this was before Ireland became a republic. So okay. we got their statue because they they kicked the Brits out. Yeah, except got, for Northern Ireland. We got a lot of their crap too. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, quotes. Which I think you may have, but we have them here. Yeah, it's a game. You put a stick out in the middle of somewhere and round hoop, round hoop things, you throw it at it and see who can get the most. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So don't uh, don't be surprised if you see quoits. Oh, I forgot about the other keyword, quandong. What? Quandong. What the hell's a quandong? It's a type of tropical fruit, probably comes from Queensland. Yeah, I don't think I've heard that in conversation. Show us your quang dong. Well, because we don't usually have them here. Go down the shop and buy some quang dong. <laughs> no, I don't think he has been commercialised. That's more like com that's more like canton. <laughs> You're going to be so rude and offensive. It's not, it? is it? Yeah, some get in and buy some canton. It's a uh, similar sauce. Yeah, but canton is under C, not Q. 
It's a little furry thing. They use it to advertise um, health insurance at the moment. Do they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Which insurance company? Um, not NBI. Uh, what is it? I don't know. That's the one they get up there and it says if you're paying too much, you're paying a quokka. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, look. Um, I, I think Minnie knows a quokka. I think she may have a, a quokka plushie. And they're from uh, Western Australia. Yeah, they look like a little... They're very funny. They're like funny looking. A cross between a... Um, a wallaby and uh, a rat. Mm. Anyway, let's move on. Mm. Um, I think that's about it in terms of cues. Any cue words that you can... No. Anything mm -mm. cues is basically Queensland. So if you ever go to Queensland, there's a lot of cues up there. Yeah, a lot of cues. <laughs> so, uh, look, I do like Queensland. It's, you know, going to the tropics without living the country. So that's all right. Yeah, you just got to watch out. For the water, because you can't swim, because if the sharks don't get you, the stingers will get you. Yeah, that's it. That's the only problem with Queensland. I mean, it's just sharks, crocs, and... Jellyfish. Yeah, it's it's, it's not so pleasant when you think about it. No. No. That's why they they swim around in either... That's why they come to New South Wales Full wetsuits or a pair of um, stockings. Mm. I don't think the stockings will save you from crocodiles, though. Mm. Yeah, the one time we went across a Daintree forest and there was this crocodile infested river and a week later there was um, somebody who got uh, chomped yeah, by a croc. Mm. But but that's it. So, cue for Queensland. Go New South Wales. Okay. Bye. Bye.